man i am dad gum close i really want to look and see where we're at <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hey team, before I can tell you where we're at right this very second, we're gonna go back to the beginning, right? So a couple things you're gonna get from this video. One, declination, right? How important is it? We're gonna move from one point, we're gonna move a thousand meters, no GPS, no magic, no voodoo, just a dude with a compass and a lime green pencil. You know, we have grid north and we have magnetic north. And in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate boots on the ground, what that difference is going to make over the course of a thousand meters i hope you dig it also going to give you a couple other tidbits and tricks that you can put in your kit bag as you're moving out things that i think about as i'm walking out and doing some land navigation whether you're in the military and you're doing a land nav course whether you're rehearsing a bug out scenario or any kind of shtf moment this skill right here is not only a critical one i would dare say it is one of the most critical ones because mobility is king. I'm sitting at three zero 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 one zero zero zero. Uh, so right at the dead corner of a grid coordinate. And this is a test and a technique that you can put in your kit bag. And so we're gonna record this and we're gonna log a thousand meters moving at magnetic north and we're gonna see where we end up at. Right, and you might think that if we move an exact thousand meters, we should end up at three eight zero one one zero and we're gonna find out whether or not that hunch is true based off of declination see here we are take a screenshot of that and then we're gonna go into uh we'll go into gaia see if we can't record now we're recording all right so the time on deck is 1507 Get my lime green pencil. That's for you, Joe. Little thieves didn't get that, did they? 1507. Start. We're gonna move due north. Make sure this compass is uh, good and dummy corded to my body. I'll be using a, a silver. And right now we got some pretty heavy brush. Again, we're gonna be moving due north. Come what may. Every time I move 100 meters, I'm gonna log a tick mark down. Now, as a word of caution, I wanna tell you, if you're going out and doing land navigation, you got no business trying to keep an azimuth for 1,000 meters. Use some dadgum attack points. Right, and one of the other things to be mindful of as you're moving out through the wilderness is just like driving where you are looking at whatever has your attention that's where you're going to be directing yourself towards so that's why it's important to have a steering mark and to have attack points along the way that you can move to to help keep you drifting too far to the left or to the right
far as wildlife out here, we got uh, plenty of the four-legged kind. Bear, elk, deer, bobcat. I don't expect to have too many issues out here today. So some of it's been a little thicker. Some of it's uh, been a little bit lighter. My pace count on flat ground is 65. So I'm kind of going with 70 and through some of this and about 75 for some other parts. It's really just a guesstimate and trying to use what we can as a steering mark to keep us going in the right direction. I'm gonna double check again here real quick. I got my steering mark, but we're going to confirm. Yep. side here we gotta we gotta be a little smooth and controlled as best as we can <sighs> definitely getting a little warm Could be cooler if I had a short sleeve shirt on, but I'm not like Eric Coleman. I'm not gonna get torn up in this in this stuff. Uh, so it's, I'm gonna mark this down too. So 500 meters, it's 15, 26. Quite a few signs of life between uh, some debris. Some well used routes. Somebody's land nav marker. So some uh, deer poop. Three more to go. You might be seeing that I'm checking my compass every now and then as we're moving and that's as we're going around an obstacle. If I have to veer left or veer right, I want to try to get on the exact opposite side and shoot. Getting close, gents. Hopefully this camera's still working.
200 more meters. Oh, that one a hundred. Now I know, man, I am dad gum close. I really want to look and see where we're at. Will it be a surprise? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and call it 1,000 meters. We'll see how close we got. Dump this pack and start to cool off a little bit. All right, so we're at 37192-10910. Screenshot. All right, so here's what this means, right? Moving due north because our declination up here is around 15 degrees at 1,000 meters we moved 190 meters to the east. Now you can imagine if you were looking for something specific out here, man, that's life changing. That's game over. 30 some odd minutes. It's 1537. I'm gonna title this declination. And then we'll uh, we'll pull this up and look at it a little bit more. Right on point. So if we, so I hope you use this as a little bit of boost of confidence uh, that you can trust your pace count. You can trust your compass. You're going to get off a little bit and that's why you need to have steering marks along the way. But moving in a straight line as best as we could, a thousand meters, you know, I, I'd say we did a pretty dadgum good job. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. You gotta trust yourself. You gotta trust yourself. I just did the math. Total distance was 0.63 miles, so I'll, I'll pull that up exactly and convert that and see. At, at the 0.63 miles that you saw that we moved using no map, no uh, GPS, no voodoo magic, right? We moved a thousand and like 10 meters. And apply that fifth print, see what this line looks like. You can see and I'll screenshot this as well. You can see that we moved in a, in a dadgum, pretty decent straight line. I'm gonna screenshot this before it it gets too late. So a, a pretty, pretty good little straight line, right? And it says uh, total time was 30 minutes and 58 seconds. Overall, I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty happy about what we were able to accomplish today. Moving through some pretty thick brush, a little ups and downs. A uh, little moderate temperature, but not too awful bad. So if you enjoyed it, man, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what other kind of practice app and skills that we can put in your kit bag. That way you can go out and master your craft. Because, man, you, you got you to get out and you got to rehearse. You got to practice. You got to keep grinding. And you got to stay stoked.